you know us wandering around South America in a van but this time we left the van in mainland Ecuador and we're heading over to the Galapagos it's just a short flight off of the mainland and we're going to be doing it in style you ready for the Galapagos <laughs> a vancation is it kind of rare for us so we're going to show you what it's like to go on a luxury cruise in one of the most natural places left on earth. So come along with us and start planning your own vacation here in one of the best places on earth. Not a bad entry, huh? <laughs> They got you vegan food. Mm -hmm. Every day there's going to be amazing food. A buffet for breakfast, snacks after each excursion, lunches, and fantastic dinners. And every night we're going to have a briefing for the schedule for the next day. The boat that we're on is absolutely incredible. We have a beautiful common area. Our room is fantastic. We paid $1,800 each for this trip. And we did find other boats that were cheaper. But we thought, let's splurge for this once in a lifetime wander around the Galapagos. Only eight of us when there's supposed to be 20 on the boat. Welcome to the infinity. Check out this room! I can't believe how big it is. What? I don't even think this is the one we signed up for. I think this is bigger. Yeah, we're at half capacity. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite part of this room? Um, I don't know. Maybe the shower because I don't have one at home. <laughs> Check out this on a boat. We have <laughs> on a boat. We have more room. <laughs> I think the balcony is my favorite part. Definitely not the TV. Not gonna use that. Babe, you can put your feet up. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm actually showered for once. <laughs> and we're about to go on our first excursion into Black Turtle Cove. So we might see some turtles. We're gonna be on a dinghy. Ooh, I'm excited. There's no way into the Galapagos except for flying through mainland Ecuador, either through Quito or Guayaquil. This really shows how serious the Ecuadorian government is about their prized islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Danny found a deal for our cruise on lastminutegalapagos.com. At first, I wanted to do an island top on our own, but with more research, we decided we would see more islands traveling on a boat. Baby sharks just around the surface. What? I can see from here.
pájaro bobo. Bobo. Yeah, they call it stupid bird. Bobo it doesn't mean yeah. stupid. Bobo means silly. Or yeah, dumb. my uncle yeah. in Spain he said tapa bobos. It's like a light rain. Uh huh. It's like if you stay your tapa bobos, it gets gets all the bobos wet. They walk so funny. I would definitely call them a booby if I saw them. <laughs> They're in love. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the best. I love walking around and learning all about these birds. They're so close to us. All right, on to our first snorkel sesh. The Galapagos Islands are moving towards mainland Ecuador, so we know they were never connected to another landmass. Each island is made from an active volcano or volcanoes. They think the animals floated on a raft and a current very luckily to even more ancient islands and when more islands popped up they hopped over to the others. They know there were islands older than the current ones because marine iguanas are so far removed from their ancestors. Every time they say, oh, the person that paddles more stays in the back, I'm always like, oh, I can try that. <laughs> and then every time I just sit here. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Oh, I know you wanted to take a nap. So. Yeah, I'm taking a nap while I'm here. <laughs> I know, I feel like they'd be so cuddly, but they're probably not. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. You could barely even hold yourself up, huh? Oh my goodness. He's really just talking to me. He's just paying attention to me. That's not how I pictured vomiting to look. <laughs> just said, uh, here's a fish out of my stomach. Look at how he holds onto that branch.
living in a van ain't bad, but it's gonna be hard to return to that after this. Oh my gosh, I want a sailboat so bad. Just to wake up in places like this. Natural beauty, so calm. No honking horns, where this is gonna spoil me for life. This is just so amazing waking up right next to this Isla Bartholomew. So sad, this is the last full day. We're gonna go have someone take us on a nice walk and tell us all about this island. So fantastic. For our walk today, we're heading to Santiago Island. Not so many animals on land, but the geography is wild. It erupted over a hundred years ago. As the top of the lava started to dry, more spewed, making it turn into solid ropes all over the island. It's pretty cool. One of the characteristics of our lava is the low amount of silica it got. And to form crystals, you need silica. Continental areas, you got a lot of silica. Living on a boat for four days means a lot of time rocking. We haven't gotten sick yet, but there are definitely times on this boat that we've had drunk legs stumbling around. Actually, another couple last night was seasick. All right, you guys, that was a crazy lava field here on Santiago Island. Next, we get to snorkel around here, and they're saying there's a slight chance we'll see a penguin swimming next to us. We were able to see two penguins floating through the water. Did you guys see those penguins? We were the only people out of the whole group. We got super lucky. Really glad to show you guys. And the second smallest penguins in the world. So we're heading over to one more island and we're gonna do a nice walk on the beach and then we'll be able to take you guys snorkeling one more time. And unfortunately, this is the last full day tomorrow. We're heading back to Santa Cruz. Hopefully this gives you a taste of what you can do here in the Galapagos for yeah. 1800 for this kind of a cruise. This would be great for a honeymoon. Oh um, yeah, such an amazing time here. The excursions have been fantastic. I don't know if you've noticed, but drones are not allowed in the National yeah. Park. But apparently in the towns it's okay. I could stay out on this cruise forever. <laughs> yeah.
night on this boat, we're moored right outside Puerto Ayora, the main town on the Galapagos. Cheers, love. Cheers. We're heading off the boat for good. Welcome to Santa Cruz. They have a skate park at the dock. Heck yeah. Having a good nap. Over to the Tortoise Breeding Center on Santa Cruz Island. They breed these tortoises from every island and reintroduce them to the islands they're from. This is to help repopulation after the devastating effect pirates and human population has had on them. Here is following, following uh, natural gender ratios. It's three to one, three females per male. The boys have the have the crooked tail, and then the girls have a straight tail. These tortoises are over a hundred years old. The researchers aren't sure how many years the tortoises can live because it's way longer than any of our records. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our luxury cruise to the Galapagos Islands. We absolutely loved our time here. And hopefully you did too. We'll see you guys next time for some amazing adventures island topping on San Cristobal. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and tell us what you thought about it. It's free for you and it helps us out a lot. Thanks so much.